Hello everyone, in the previous video we learned how to create the frame object. In this lesson, we will learn how to use table view objects in desktop applications. Table objects are not just used to create tables. If you have developed a mobile application before, you can think of it as a fragment structure. I will create each table view object as a layer. We will add buttons later. So let's start. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. I will do the project from scratch. There is currently an empty desktop window. First I create an object with the table view function. I add it to the desktop window with pack. We have created an empty table object. Now let's add the layers. I will create several layers with the add function. I created three layers. Note that each of these is a different window. You'll understand better when we add a button to each window soon. You can specify the start window with the set function. For example, let's set the startup window as the first. When the application starts, the first window opens as default. I set the third window to default. The third window opened when the application started. Now I will add the buttons. I am using the button function. I specify to the tab function in which window the button will be created. I set the text of the button. Finally, I sync pack to the desktop window. As you can see, the button does not appear in the second and third windows. Only the first window has a button. Let's add the button in the second window. I'm sending the tab function to the second window. I added the buttons to the first and second windows. But since the names of the buttons are the same, they do not appear exactly. Let's change the name of the button. Now we can see clearly. Let's add the button object in the third window. We added three different buttons for all windows. Now let's add a task function for all buttons. As we learned in previous lessons, I will specify a function name with command. When the buttons are clicked, the task functions will work.
When the button is clicked, I print a text to the console screen with print. In this project, we created three different windows. We added a button to each window. We have defined the task function for the buttons. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.